Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm CE Tech Dude. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Yumi Digi U Watch 2. This is a new watch by Yumi Digi that comes in around $30. And I'm going to let you know today if it's worth it and show you how to use it and let you know what I think. Here we go. So the first thing I want to go over with you today is just how nice this watch is. It's uh, 30 bucks in some locations and it comes in the box with this nice metal band that's magnetic so you can adjust, easily adjust the uh, fit to it. It's got a pretty strong magnet on the bottom of it right here and you can pull it in and snap it around your wrist very easily and it looks and feels really nice. Um, it's a circular designed watch. Uh, this display on it though is actually a square LCD that's cut out right here. Uh, so it, you can't really tell unless you're looking under certain lighting, but it does look round in uh, most use cases. Now as far as the functionality of this watch, it does have one button on it. There's no other physical buttons. There is a capacitive button right here under the, uh, under the actual display itself. And you can hit that to show the current time and other information. And on this watch you can also hold down the home button to show information on battery life and MAC address and such. And unfortunately this watch does not have an always on setting so you do have to either push the button or bring the watch up towards your chest if you're wearing it and it'll uh, light up the display. And one thing I don't really like about it is that the display times out pretty quickly and there's not a way to adjust that that I've found. So as you can see it only lasts for about 5 to 10 seconds before it turns back off. Which can be kind of annoying if you want to read something and it just kind of goes off on you. It can be a little frustrating. Uh, but it's not a huge deal. Um, on the bottom of the watch, you do have the magnetic charging connector right there, and it comes with a charger in the box. You also have a heart rate sensor right there. That works pretty well in my opinion. Um, unfortunately, you can't adjust the interval that this updates the heart rate, so if you're wanting to see real-time heart rate data, I haven't found a way to do so. And right there where it says 74, this is a different watch face than comes stock, but uh, that updates about every 30 minutes or so. So you can't see real-time heart rate usage unless you go in to measure the heart rate right here, but you do have to click to measure, which is kind of hard to see. But if you click to measure, it'll start measuring your heart rate, and that's how you see current heart rate data. This also does have uh, some different training modes. You can do walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, skipping, like jump rope, that is and football. I've only tried the running section of this and it keeps track of distance and calories burned and the time that it's uh, that you're running for so it does a pretty good job at that. Now when I say distance it doesn't have a GPS in it so it just tracks the distance by your steps. So unfortunately there's no GPS in this which isn't a, a huge deal. It's, it would be kind of nice if there was but at $30 you can't really expect that um, especially when the the build's this nice. I think they put a lot of the money into the build itself rather than the software. As you can see, the software, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little plain, a little standard. Um, besides the training, heart rate, there's also blood pressure measuring. I'm not entirely sure that works um, great. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily trust that for any medical reason, but there is the option for that. So kind of cool. It also has oxygen saturation for your blood Again, um, I wouldn't necessarily trust that for any medical conditions, but it does have that setting if you uh, want to use that, which is kind of cool. Uh, it also has a messaging app, so when you get messages, uh, you can see what's under there, and it'll show you the last three messages you received. It also has weather. It has a camera shutter, which is kind of cool, so you open that, and you can adjust the interval of the time it'll take to count down the camera you can do zero seconds three seconds or ten seconds if you do zero or just take the picture immediately when you push the shutter button there and as i say in the screen does time out very quickly uh not a huge deal but it does time out and under there you also have a music player which if you have a music app running on your phone you can play pause or skip to the next song or just go back to the previous song pretty cool and you also have a stopwatch functionality on here and under the settings, so you can mute alerts on this, and you can adjust the brightness uh, because this, this watch does not have auto brightness, which is one of my other complaints about it, is it doesn't get super bright, especially on a sunny day if you're trying to look at it under the bright sun. It's hard to see 
So you can adjust that though, down and up to your liking. Uh, it gets very dim, it doesn't get super bright, which is unfortunately unfortunate, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, you can also switch the watch face between some different ones on there. And on the Umi Digi website, it does say you can upload your own picture to this. I couldn't figure out how to do that, um, but it says it can do that. So maybe there's a way to do it, I just haven't figured it out. And then you can reset the watch and power it off there. Uh, speaking of powering off this watch, it doesn't actually seem to power off completely that I've noticed. It actually, as a matter of fact, when you get the watch, mine was actually powered on when it came to me. And like I said, I think that may just be because there's no buttons on here to actually physically power it on. So to when it, if it dies completely, you just hit the charge up to it and it'll power back on and then you'll be good to go. And as far as battery life, I've got this watch running constant heart rate monitoring, which like I said, updates every 30 minutes or so. And it loses about um, three to five percent every day, so it should last you about uh, you know, 25 days if you're not doing a lot of usage on it. If you're not measuring a lot of running or measuring your heart rate from the watch itself very often, um, I'd say about 20 days or so would be average battery life on this. Now, this also does track steps and sleep usage um, as well, which is kind of neat. And you would kind of expect that from a smartwatch, but it's nice that it has that option. Um, in the box, you also do get a another band it's more of a plastic band i prefer this ma this metallic uh, magnetic band because i think it looks better and it feels pretty good in the hand honestly in my opinion and like i said this watch does look really premium um there's just the software that's a little basic and uh, can't, some things can be a little annoying on it like for me i live in the u.s and if you get a text that has like a money sign on it which isn't a huge deal but it does show like a british pound sign which is kind of weird even though you set the, uh, you can set the settings for what country you're in in the app. And speaking of the app, um, I had to do a little research on how, on which app to use to actually get this phone talking, to get this watch talking to my phone. And you have to use an app called DA Fit or Da Fit. You can download it from the Play Store. And once you have that installed on your phone, you can pair it in the app, and it'll pair right up, and it'll start talking to your phone. Now in the app, there are all different options. That's where you set the heart rate interval. Um, like I said, it's 24 hour continuous monitoring, but it does update every 30 minutes. Uh, you can also do a few other things like look at your sleep usage, your sleep history, and your calories burned and all that jazz. You can also, you can also change the watch face in the DaFit app, which is kind of cool. It'll show you battery life and show you, you know, just basic usage of your watch. And that's also where you can turn on the uh, different notification options for this watch. And that's another one of my complaints about it is there's not a whole lot of granularity to the notifications. It only has certain apps that it supports by default. It also has an, an others option, which when you enable that, it'll send every notification on your phone to the watch, which I didn't like that because I only really want to see calls and text messages and maybe some, you know, Discord or Facebook notifications, but there's no way to just filter out those uh, apps, unfortunately. Um, because otherwise, if you enable other, like I said, it will enable, it will send all the notifications to your watch, but I don't necessarily want all of them. I want it to be more granular than that, but not a huge deal. Just want to let you know. Now, a couple of other things I've noticed uh, while using this watch is the vibration motor is a little weak, and I don't see any way to adjust that. So when you get a notification, it's not going to vibrate very strong. At least mine doesn't. It's still, you can still know when you get a message or a call, but it is a little weak. So that's my major complaint about that. And then also one thing I can't get to work, maybe it's the text messaging app I'm using, which I'm using Samsung messages for my phone, but um, I can't get it to, to show or at least alert when I get an MMS message. Uh, kind of annoying if you're doing group chatting because it will not alert you if you get a new message. If your phone's on vibrate or on silent, you won't know until you look at your phone. That's, uh, that's kind of annoying, but like I said, not a huge deal. So overall, after using this watch um, for the last week or so, I'd give it about a, a B as far as um, a grade from you know A plus to D. Uh, I'd give it a B. And that's the only complaints I really have, like I said, are the heart rate stuff, no GPS, which isn't necessarily a complaint, but it's, um, it'd be nice to have that. There's a few more things, it's like the software, like I said, pretty basic, and it has a few typos and such, like I said, tra training, instead of training, like I said, just being picky, but I want to let you know. Um, as far as 
any other complaints I really I really went over them with you earlier so I don't think I have many more to go over but as far as quality of this watch it's really nice um, build quality feels really premium it is IP67 water resistant I haven't necessarily tested that in um, the shower or swimming but I have sweat in this watch quite a bit and it's holding up just fine so overall this is the you made the GU watch too, and I would give it a recommendation if you're looking for a cheap watch uh, that looks premium and feels good. Um, yeah, give this one a look, and hopefully they'll upgrade some firmware to fix some of the complaints I have, like a screen timeout and some other little software things. But uh, overall, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up for me so I can know that you liked it. And this is the you made the GU watch too. You just got CE Tech. Have a great day. See you next time. Thanks.